Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Mike, you're watching my channel, this is everything aviation related on here and in today's video we're going to talk about the new Apple TV series Masters of the Air. Now I've been waiting for this for a long long time and uh, it's finally here and you want to know what I think about it? Well, let's have a quick look and then uh, I'll tell you. Lead our boys through. So this series, it's got a lot to live up to. Uh, it's part of the Band of Brothers franchise. So that includes Band of Brothers Pacific, also kind of tailing on from Saving Private Ryan. So all Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks are behind it. So big names, so big expectations. So when this aired the other day, I... Uh, my, my initial thoughts were, I'm so excited, I want to see this, I think it's going to be amazing. The visual effects look good, the actor lineup is good. So I thought this is going to be good. We got into the first episode and I wasn't feeling it from the, from the, the offset. The characters for me wasn't, weren't bonding. If I was quite honest, the first scene I was a little bit bored with. I thought the visual, visually it was amazing. I thought the, the, the setting was good, the bar was correct, period dress was good, music, everything was right. But something wasn't bonding with me, it wasn't jelling with me. So anyway, carried on watching. And again, I, I loved the visual effects. I liked the visual storytelling of it. I thought it was really good. Uh, in compact, there's nothing out there that really compares to the visuals of the CGI. I think the CGI was was really, really good. But we could have had a bit more real B-17 footage. Now, I know there are fl flying B-17s, um, and I don't, I might be wrong on this, and they may, they may have done loads of flying in these B-17s, and, and I'm completely wrong, but it seemed to me that a lot of it was CGI and static shots. Um, considering Top Gun Maverick was made a couple of years ago, and the amount of work that went into that to make sure that there was really flying, I had higher expectations of, of this. But, okay, we're not, we're not talking epic, we're talking okay, so far. There was a bit of questionable stuff with the, the flying of the planes. I, I saw a bit of steering movement on the ground, which was a bit odd, and uh, there, there could have been a bit more attention to detail than that. I don't know if that was through editing and not the actual actors. It could have just been poorly edited at the end. Uh, but that, that for me, uh, I didn't like. And I'd have liked to have saw a bit more originality uh, in the first episode. It very much mirrored Memphis Bell. It's almost like they've watched Memphis Bell and, 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 and kind of mirrored it. There was the... The, the scene with the wheel not, not coming down and there was the, uh, the scene where they were going to Bremen and it was, a lot of it was, I just felt I'd seen it before. Now, I know we're talking about historic movies, that's correct, and that we're, we're, they're, they're gonna be something we've seen before, but I just wanted to see a different spin on it and I, I didn't feel that. And uh, I just felt a little bit disappointed. Then the actors, so I thought they were really good. I'm going to get the names of the actors because I'll get it wrong. I know Austin Butler, um, but I thought Austin Butler. So I like the character. I'm not in love with the character yet. I don't feel too much of a connection. And if he died in the next episode, I don't think it would bother me. Uh, I think he plays a very, very cool person. Uh, and I think that He's almost too cool for the role. That makes me think I'm so cool. I want to see him develop a bit more as a character. I want to learn a bit more about him, what makes him tick. I just feel first two episodes, they just, he just it didn't gel with me. Uh, and, and I think, has he been cast for this role just because he was in the film Elvis? And he's the poster boy for it. He's, they've, he's got the clout. It's going to be a good advertising campaign for the show. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know. Am I wrong? Um, I just think Austin, he's so cool. He's such a cool guy. He's almost too cool. That's it. That's all I can put in about Austin Butler. But uh, yeah, I, 
let's see where his character gets to. Then we've got Callum Turner. Callum Turner, I thought, played a really good part. Um, I liked his character and I, I, and I gelled with his character straight away. So I don't know what that says about Callum as an actor, but I feel that I like his character and I'd be sad to see his character go. But I know with the Band of Brothers franchise, guys, you can't get too attached to anyone. You don't know what point they're going to go. Um, but uh, yeah, Callum, Callum Turner, great actor. And uh, I enjoyed his visual presence on screen. And the next one, Barry Keegan. I think Keegan, Keegan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, but let's just say Barry. So Barry's character, um, Barry's Irish. Like you may have seen him in Top Boy. Brilliant actor. Uh, I, I, can't, I liked his character. I, I jowled with his character. Uh, and uh, I want to see, again, more of his character in this. Um, I feel his American accent's a bit questionable. However, they did pull out the Irish card a couple of times in there so um yeah i uh not the best of american accents pretty good better than what i could do but um yeah we'll, we'll just see where his character goes and that brings me on to the portrayal of the raf so for me being british i love american aviation american aviation is is like where i'm at however i'm british i have served in the british armed forces and I was very disappointed how they portrayed the British as the RAF in this uh, so far. Um, I didn't like it. Uh, I, it was very American and Americans won the war. So you're probably going to hate me for this, but that was my view. Um, and uh, let, let's just see if it gets better. Now, if I was to rate this on these two episodes at the moment, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, and that's where I'm at. Visually, wicked. Um, I'd like to see more in aircraft and real flying footage. And I want to see more originality. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with it. Um, but it's not to say I might come back at the very end and go, this was the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, I didn't want to make the video the next day. I wanted to just ponder on it, have a think about what I was going to say. And... Uh, this is that's just how I feel. How do you feel about it? Pop it comments down below. Let's watch this together and we'll keep checking in and we'll see how it all turns out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to get out in the field and do some real stuff out there. We've got so much planned coming up very, very soon. I've got flights, I've got simulators, I've got airfield tours, I've got all sorts planned. So keep watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, like, subscribe, and hit the notifications. Take care, guys.